Okay, so let's begin. We'll bring the hands together. We'll tune in with the Adi Mantra. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the divine teacher within me. So please rub the palms together. And bring the hands at the center of your hands. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. A deep breath in. And a deep breath out. A deep breath in to begin. Oh, oh. Oh. Inhale. Hold the breath, suspend the breath, set your intention. Exhale. Inhale, Mangala Charan Mantra, Ad Gure in the Me, Shadad Gure in the Me, Sat Gure in the Me, Sri Gure De De in the Me. Inhale to begin. Ad Gure in the Me, Shadad Gure in the Me, Sat Gure in the Me, Sri Gure De De in the Me. Ad Gure in the Me, Shadad Gure in the Me, Sat Gure in the Me, Sri Gure De De in the Me. Ad gire in the men, Jugad gire in the men, Sad gire in the men, Siri gire de vein. Inhale. Hold the breath, suspend the breath, set your intention. And exhale, relax, bring your hands down on your knees and gently open your eyes. <laughs> Okay, welcome everyone. Um, so today's theme is probably one of my all time favorites to go into. I really, really love teaching about the masculine and the feminine polarities. And I think it's because for many years and still, I struggle with having a masculine, more dominant side than a feminine. Um, and, um, and so the teachings of Kundalini Yoga are extremely, um, deep and supportive to learn more about what does it mean to be in your masculine and your feminine and how can you create that balance so um the the kundalini itself is a shakti right it's shakti so it's awaken awakens the feminine inert power within us um, and whenever you sit in stillness absolute still focused attention you're in your shiv that's your masculine mm -hmm. yeah so you have your shiv and you have your shakti and it's similar to the energy of it's actually i love the analogy of the sun and the moon right if you think of it in terms of sun and moon it's going to be really really clear so your sun is um, bright it's penetrating it's very hot on your skin right um, it's direct on you and um, um, it, it's very structured it comes out at the same time in the morning and then sets sets at the same time and and it's stable 
There's no one day when the sun will say, I am not coming, right? So that's really the quality of the masculine. And, and just so we're clear, the masculine and, quali and feminine qualities are within each one of us. And actually the practice of yoga and meditation, the goal is to bring them in balance so that we can live life in a balanced way, right? Sometimes people say when, they're, when they get into relationships, oh, he's my other half, oh, she's my other half, because there is an imbalance in me. But actually, what we want to do with yoga and meditation is to bring you into total harmony and balance. And from that, from that union and balance of you, you can create any kind of relationship, right? Um, okay, so we talked a little bit about the qualities of the sun, right? Sun penetrates. The moon is the opposite. It deceives. Right? It receives the light. It reflects the light. Hi, welcome. Welcome, Will. Hi. So, so you can imagine, um, for instance, in times when you are wanting to make a decision, right? When you want to make a decision, the moon quality will tend to be reflective, um, meditate on the issue, look at it from different angles, perhaps ask people what they think, um, sit and wait, you know, sit and wait. The, the, the moon quality, the feminine quality is Is, is changing, right? So if you think of how the moon changes shape and brightness over the 28 day cycle, so a quality of the feminine is it's constantly changing, right? And just for those who just came in, remember that feminine and masculine qualities are both within you. There are some men that embody feminine qualities more than the masculine, that's fine. And there's some women that embody more of that masculinity more than the feminine. That's fine. And there are times of the day where you will be more feminine and times of the day where you will feel more masculine. For instance, when you're very busy during the day, have a hundred things to do, you're probably in your masculine quality, which is maybe speaking in a little bit more abrupt, maybe more urgent, more direct, more, this is what we need to do and this is how we need to do it now, right? But then the feminine, the quality of the feminine is more of a, a reflector, right? So rather than being direct in communication, the feminine is more subtle and suggestive in communication. You know what suggestive communication is? Yeah, it's like asking a question instead of saying what you want, <laughs> right? Um, so think of, think of communication. How do you think communication is impacted by the masculine and feminine quality? I mean, what would be the Yes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So masculine, I'm just going to repeat so they can hear. Masculine quality, more direct, authoritative. Yes. And then I guess the opposite. Yeah, you're not so yeah. indirect. Yeah, feminine more indirect. Yeah. Gentle. Huh? More gentle. More gentle approach. Yeah, more subtle. You know, feminine has a lot of intelligence, but feminine wants the sun to shine. <laughs> she reflects the sun. So feminine knows the answer right? But rather than say it, she'll guide the sun to say it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's a reflective quality. But what else? There's another really um, interesting way, sex communication. Well, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Just because, you know, you're very direct, so um, you're kind of saying it. Yeah, so it's not a communication. 
Well, so think of it as a dance, right? If, if in any relationship, whether it's with your boss or with your son or daughter or partner or bus driver or someone in the shop or a weird customer who's just very mad or something, if you pick up in that moment that, oh, they're in their masculine and you get into your feminine, then you can create harmony in, their, in the communication, you know? But if someone's in their masculine and you're also in your masculine, then you're both gonna bash heads. Someone's their feminine, you're in their feminine, you're not gonna reach any, anything forward. You know? What do you think? I don't know, what do you think? What do you feel? I don't know, what do you feel? So it's just going to bounce one up off the other. But someone needs to kind of get intuitive and sense they're in that energy, then I can shift myself, right? The other really interesting way is, um, um, so, so again, going back to the example of the moon, right? So the moon is changing shape over the 28 days of the month. And so the feminine is changing and shifting and it's more related to kind of emotions, feelings, right? So when, when you're in your feminine and you're trying to understand something, resolve something, make a decision, the process of the feminine is to kind of go around in a circle, you know, like, for instance, you want to paint the walls in your house and you're speaking to someone, you know, I'm thinking of painting the walls green, but should I do the olive green or the teal green? You know, my friend painted the teal green and it was really nice, but I think the olive green because it might match the sofa. But you know, I also think there's this other green, apple green that's so, you know, and so you're kind of like going into the spiral, right? And that's the process of the feminine. It's to kind of spiral around because that's the process of her. Because, okay, let's go back to, um. so the shape of the feminine is circular, yeah? Now the masculine is direct and it's exactly the same as the shape of the egg in the body and the sperm, right? So diagonal line will always cut the, through the circular. So you're in this process, right? And you're speaking to someone who's in their masculine energy. Maybe it's a man, maybe it's not. And they're like, okay, so go with the blue, go with the teal. No, but I think, okay, then I'll get you the olive. So which color do you want? Tell me, which color do you want, you know? So the masculine tends to be more focused, direct, and just wants to solve the problem, right? Um, so what is helpful if you understand that you're in your feminine and you want to go through that process is to tell the person who's being masculine, just listen and let me say what I need to say. I don't need a problem to be solved, right? But that's something that not many people understand, right? So it's just a, a guidance that you can offer. Hmm? Um, and, and similar to that, the energy. So, you know, like we were talking about the sperm and the egg. So sperm is very penetrating, penetrating. Masculine penetrates, cuts through. The feminine is receiving and containing. So that's really, really useful whenever you're in a relationship where you feel someone is defensive, um, direct, authoritative, and um, and you're like, you know, if your ego gets kind of, well, I need to be that too, then you're both going to clash. But if you can actually expand yourself, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Whether you can just expand yourself and hold yourself to contain that penetration, then you got it, you know? You contain that energy. That's when harmony is created. And I guess the last thing is about, um, but I think that's pretty clear. Um, sun is stable, steady, constant. Masculine tends to have that, um, that energy. And so tends to be more structured, pragmatic, calculative. Like the moon that changes shape several times over the month, it's kind of shifting. And so flexibility and spontaneity is much more important for the feminine. So if you feel like you want to bring balance into your feminine energy, you're too, you're too much in your masculine, be more spontaneous. Do things away from your schedule. Change things around a little bit. And vice versa. If you're so much in your feminine, you're hardly ever focused. You're doing a gazillion things and nothing ever is complete. 
then you want more structure, focus, stillness to get that um, penetration. So today we're going to do um, really interesting. I'm actually, we're gonna do a series of things that will help you experience the energy of the masculine and feminine. And towards the end of the class, you may share with me where, when you felt, felt this was a really masculine exercise in the Kriya, and then where you felt it was more feminine. Okay. Okay, great. So we are going to start by balancing the sun and moon energy. So bring your left and hands, left and right hands to the side like this, palms out to the side. Very good. So your left side is related with the feminine, the moon energy, and the right side is related to the masculine, the sun energy. So we're gonna do this pranayam. It's called the pranayam for balancing the sun and moon. Palms facing up, fingers together with the wrists bent back and fingertips out to the side, parallel to the shoulders. Look at the tip of your nose. Now inhale, and as you inhale, lift the left shoulder up, just the left shoulder, keeping the hand bent and parallel to the floor. As you inhale, you will feel that the left nostril is more open and active. As you exhale, you're gonna drop the shoulder, returning to the original position, and repeat on the opposite side. Inhale, lifting the right shoulder up, noticing the right nostril more open as the breath goes in the right nostril. Exhale, bring it down, and switch sides. Inhale, left shoulder up. Notice how the left nostril is more active and open. Exhale down, and continue at your own pace, but do this slowly rather than one up one down very slowly to really feel the breath going into the left nostril when you lift the left shoulder up and then the right nostril when you lift the right shoulder and continue keeping your eyes at the tip of your nose
and exhale, relax the arms on your knees and just breathe through both nostrils together now. Notice if you feel the difference. It's a very simple practice you could do for five minutes a day just to bring balance, equilibrium to the right and left side of the brain, the sun and the moon, the masculine and feminine qualities. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. Take the arms up 60 degrees up, thumbs up towards the sky, breath of fire. Gaze on your menstrual cycle, breathe long and deep. Your mantra is Satyanam, Satyanam, Satyanam. The thumb represents the ego. And this exercise, we bring the thumb behind us and also press it into the heavens. The ego relates more with the masculine, wants to prove, to achieve, to be seen. And remember, we all have that part in us, thank goodness, otherwise we wouldn't survive. But when it dominates, the feminine becomes unseen. So we wanna create balance, ultimately. Bring the thumbs together to touch. Hold the breath, hold the posture. Bring the chin in towards the chest. Apply move on, draw the muscles, the rectum, sex organs, and navel. Exhale, sweep the arms down, sweeping the aura. Very nice. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out through your nose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Move on to your hands and knees for cat cow. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale forward, exhale back. Mm -hmm. And begin. Inhale, set, and exhale, down. Inhale forward, tilt your neck upward, look up towards the sky.
are looking forward. Hold the breath, hold the posture. Exhale, round your spine, bring your chin towards your chest. Hold the breath out, empty out your lungs completely and hold the breath. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, come down to child pose, forehead to the ground, open the knees wide apart, toes together, breathe long and deep. Listen to the beats of the heart. The quality of the feminine is deep listening. Listening without reacting, without responding, interrupting, having the answer. Just deep listening. And inhale. Exhale. And very slowly come all the way up to standing. You're going to come to the front of the mat. We're going to step into archer posture. Archer. Come to the top of the mat. You're going to take your, your right foot back. About one, two, three, three feet back. And then you're going to bend the right knee. Take both hands in front of you. And then take the right arm back as if you're holding a bow and you are pulling all the way back. Your hips open out to the sides. Very good. You're gonna keep the elbow at the same level as the shoulder, relax the shoulder, roots forward at the thumb. And you're gonna to begin to chant. Ha, 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 Ha! 
Inhale. Hold the breath, hold the posture. Gaze forward. Exhale, relax the posture. Shake the legs out. Well done. You, you all did very, very well. Excellent. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms, and switch sides. <laughs> of course, we're going to switch sides. And the one side. And when you're ready, come into posture. So you can guess this activates the masculine sun energy, right? Yeah. Okay. Direct, focused. Let's begin. Left leg back. <laughs> come into posture, everyone. And let's begin. Posture. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale, relax the posture. Shake the legs out. Shake, shake, shake. And now begin to dance.
to stillness, absolute stillness. Feel the contrast between flow, movement, spontaneity, and stillness. Exhale. Come back to the beats of the heart. Listen to the beats of the heart. Feel the temperature of the body. In each and every cell of my body, I feel the ecstasy of the one. Feel each and every cell of your body vibrating ecstasy of the one. Now please come to sit in a cross-legged position. We'll begin right nostril breathing. So your left hand is in Gyan Mudra and you'll bring it on your knee and your right hand will come up. Sorry, that's the wrong way, other way. Right hand on the knee, left thumb will come up. Close the left nostril. Left nostril associated with the feminine energy. So we're gonna close this nostril. We're gonna breathe only from the right. Inhale powerfully from the right. Which increases sun energy, concentration and exhale from the right. Enthusiasm, excitement, passion, heat. Inhale right, exhale right. Very nice, and continue.
Wonderful. Make this your last breath in. Last breath out. Release the hands and breathe normally through both nostrils, close the eyes, and notice if you feel any difference between left and right sides of the brain. Feel more alert or more sleepy. Just notice any changes you may feel. Now, please come onto your knees. We'll come into uh, Sat Kriya. So you're gonna sit in rock pose. You can sit on a, a bolster or a cushion underneath your buttocks, or you can even put something in between your knees if you feel you have too much pressure on your knees when you bring them together. You can even bring something soft under the back of the bony part of your feet. Yeah, whichever you need, whatever you need to be comfortable. We're going to be here for a little while. Arms, <laughs> arms up. And you're going to bring your, um, so for if you're identify with a mass, well, no, that's not right. If you're in the, in the body of a man, you're going to put your left thumb on the right and index fingers up. Body of a woman, you're going to flip. And you're going to bring the left, the right thumb Right thumb on the left for men, left thumb on the right for women. Okay, arms up, squeeze the ears. Now we're gonna chant out loud, Sat Nam. When you chant Sat, pull the navel in. When you chant Nam, you relax. Sat Nam. Are you ready? Pull the arms up, close the eyes, wrists together. Inhale to begin. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat no Now, <laughs> 
<laughs> Inhale, stretch all the way up, squeeze the muscles to the buttocks, squeeze the energy from the buttocks all the way up to the finger points, apply more bond, draw the muscles, the rectum, sex organs, and navel, squeeze, hold, exhale the breath, exhale, drop the arms down, come to lie down on your back and just rest. <clears throat> well done. Breathe long and deep, arms by the body. And inhale, exhale, bend your knees and towards your chest, rise up, come into the same posture, Sat Kriya, one more time. Okay. Arms up, interlace the phoenix, index, index finger up, left thumb on the right, right thumb on the left, left thumb for women up, and right thumb on the top if you're a man. And begin. Sit, nam, 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 sit, Now, <laughs> 
and inhale hold the breath squeeze the buttocks squeeze the energy all the way up the spine apply mulvan draw the muscles the rectum sex organs and navels feel the heat in the spine rising up to the finger points keep the posture exhale completely inhale again hold the breath apply mulvan squeeze the buttocks squeeze the energy all the way up all the way up to the crown of the head to the finger points exhale keep the posture one last time inhale deeply squeeze and hold raise the energy up keep the arms exhale 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 even more exhale completely apply move to draw the muscles the rectum sex organs and navel hold the breath out squeeze this creates a white heat at the navel point that presses kundalini up the spine inhale why guru exhale drop the arms keep the eyes closed and transition to lie down on your back when you feel ready to do so keep the eyes closed feel the energy running through the veins feel the blood rushing feel the heart beating nervous system now recuperates Sad Kriya is an excellent practice for your nervous system, glandular system, digestive system. Also transforms sexual energy up to the higher chakras so you feel more creative. Breathe long and deep. Recuperate. And inhale, exhale, and bend your knees in towards your chest. 
rock yourself up into a seated posture. And we're gonna do some spinal flexes. So very simply, you're going to grab your ankles or your shins, inhale, arch the spine forward, exhale, round your spine back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale back. Close your eyes. Sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam. Mentally vibrate the mantra so that there is no room for thoughts. <coughs> Your neck is steady, no movement of the neck. The spine is what moves forward and back. So keep your neck really still. Your chest arches forward, opening up the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Much better. If the spine feels warmer, move quicker and quicker. Powerful breath, powerful movement. Expanding the rib cage, expanding the lungs, increasing the oxygen supply to the bloodstream, to the lungs. The power of your exhale is the power with which you exhale toxins, things that you no longer need in the body that may create stagnation. And inhale, hold the breath, hold the posture, elongate your spine, feel the energy rising up the spine, up to the crown of the head. You may experience heat rising up the spine. Notice if you do, if you don't, that's okay. From the nose, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Wonderful. Gently open your eyes and let's move to frogs. <clears throat> so come to standing. Bring your feet together. Open the feet wide apart. So you make a little penguin feet, little V shape with the feet. Crouch all the way down. Bring your tips of the fingers on the earth. Press on the earth. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift up. Drop your head. Exhale, come back down. Keep your heels together off the floor the whole time. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And continue. For those with maybe not so strong knees, hands on the knees. Inhale, exhale down, inhale up. Good. Powerful breath, powerful breath. Frogs work on moving the energy in the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is connected to your emotions, sexuality, 
sexual energy. Full force of the exhale will bring you down. Full force of the inhale will bring you up. Rely on the breath, prana. Come on, use the breath, breathe into the thighs, breathe into the back of the legs, oxygenate the bloodstream, take the prana into the upper muscles, visualize, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, last one. Wonderful. Inhale up and fold forward. Come to standing, fold forward, grab your elbows, relax your heels, and just drop forward. Just drop. Head below the heart. You can touch the floor, touch the, touch the floor. Otherwise, grab your elbows and allow gravity to pull you downwards. Breathe. Stay with the breath. Inhale, exhale, and very slowly come to sit down in rock pose on your heels. If that's not possible for you, you can sit in a cross-legged position. So it's up to you. It's always up to you, really. You always have that choice. Okay, so from here, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Come back into the heart, feeling the beats of your heart. Noticing the pace it begins to slow down when you are aware. Conscious of the thoughts, breath of the body. Witnessing all that is happening around you. And you're gonna inhale, lift the, to turn the neck to the left. Exhale, turn the neck to the right. Inhale, left, exhale, right. Inhale, sit, exhale, no. Sit, no, sit, no, sit, no. You can do this posture sitting in a cross-legged position. You will receive definitely the same benefit.
And inhale, center. Hold the breath, hold the posture. Exhale, keep the eyes closed. Notice how the energy now has, has now moved up towards the crown of the head and the throat and up higher. Feminine energy is associated with the second chakra, fourth and sixth. Intuition. Compassion, faith, feelings, sensations. Inhale, exhale, bring the arms up, Our fingers on the front of the shoulders, thumbs on the back. You're just gonna sway from side to side. Very gently, swaying from side to side. Come to sit in a uh, cross-legged position. Swaying from side to side. Breathing, inhaling left, exhaling right. No need to touch the floor. It's not required at all. You're just distributing the energy from the left side of the body into the right, from the right into the left, creating an equilibrium. Excellent. And inhale to center. Exhale. Drop the arms down. Bring your hands in Gyan Mudra on your knees. So you're going to lift the shoulder up, back, and down. Chest up, chin, same alignment with the uh, middle midline of the body. Close your eyes. Imagine you're wearing a crown on your head. And you're going to mentally vibrate the mantra Satanam. We're going to meditate in silence for the next three to four minutes. As you inhale, you mentally vibrate Sat. 
As you exhale now, pull the navel in towards your spine. Inhale, set, the belly expands. Exhale, pull the navel in towards the spine. Apply Mulvand, light Mulvand, and continue. Mm -hmm.
deep breathing. Hold the breath, suspend the breath. Gaze at that crown on the top of the head. Seventh, tenth gate. Exhale. And slowly come to lie down on the ground for final relaxation, Shavasana. If you'd like to cover your body, please do so. Cover your eyes. Get very comfortable and begin to relax. Relax the toes. Relax the ankles. Relax the calves, the knees. Quads, hamstrings, relax. Glutes, relax. Relax the lower back, mid back. Relax the upper back and shoulders. Relax the neck, crown of the head, forehead, eyes, nose, lips, all the muscles on the face, relax. Relax the upper chest, the abdomen, upper arms, elbows, all of the five fingers one by one. Relax, palm of the hand on the earth, back of the hand on the earth, palm of the hand to the heavens.
and inhale. Exhale. And very slowly begin to bring your awareness back to the body and back to the breath, ebbing and flowing. Deep relaxation is a quality of the feminine. Tapping into your feminine requires regular periods of rest, recuperation, conscious breathing. Very slowly begin to bring movements to the fingers and toes without rushing. Bend your right knee in towards your chest and take your right knee with the left hand and do a little cat stretch on the right side of your body. And switch sides. Come back to the center, bend both knees and towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug, wrap your arms around your knees, pull your knees in. And then begin to rub the soles of the feet together, rub the palms of the hands together, stimulating all your nadis. And then bring your hands over the eyes. Bless the eyes. Very, very slowly start to move the hands away from your eyes, looking into the palms of your hands ready to see everything with new, fresh new eyes, new perspective on everything. And then rock and roll up and down on your spine a few times, coming up into a seated posture so we can meditate <laughs> together. So you've already meditated. So we're doing something fun. We're doing a celestial communication. So celestial communication is a really, really excellent practice to tap into the feminine quality. Um, it's a great practice to create because you can create your own sense of communications. It's really wonderful to um, transform emotions. The feminine tends to feel a lot of emotions, mixed emotions. So it's a great way to transform them. Um, we're also using the arms and the fingers, and generally when we're using upper body arms and fingers, we're tapping into the um, auric fields and the heavens. So again, allowing us to tap more into the uh, feminine rather than the masculine, which is more earthy, quality, so it's more subtle, right? Um, and it's fun, and it's spontaneous, okay? But I'm going to share with you the movements, and then you can follow through. So several movements. Um, so just do the best that you can. And then if you can't follow, just follow me. So first movement, you're going to go forward like this. And then like that. That's movement one. Okay. Movement two. And then you're going to move to the side. That's all movement. Very good. And then relax. And then this is your, your second movement. Like a ballerina, one arm opens up. And then the other arm opens up. Very good. And like a wave going up, all the way up, and then coming back down. 
Excellent. That's the third one. And then the fourth one, you're going to go up this way, diagonal, come down, masculine, and then up this way, and down now with feminine. Okay? So this is first four movements. We're going to repeat that a few times, then we'll move into the second choir. Second choir, like this, and like that, like a wave, a wave forward and a wave down, and then a wave to the side and a wave down. That's all good. And then there is something that I forgot. So we're just going to do this one. This, bring the wrists in, open and close, and then you're going to come back and start again. So we'll do it again, a wave forward, and a wave back, a wave to the side, a wave down, this goes up, this goes up, and then bring the wrists in, and I'll do a little circle. Okay. okay, so I will be doing it with you for the first part, and if I feel that you're okay to do it on your own, then I will let you go. We'll put the lights
exhale, just sit quietly and breathe. And inhale, exhale, bring the hands together at the center of the heart. Let's close the long time sunshine song. <laughs> inhale deeply bring the hands and the heart quality of the feminine is prayer projection please project out into the cosmos your deepest most truest prayer for yourself family and friends the planet pray for peace health consciousness to guide you and all of us really on this planet Exhale. And inhale. The purpose of life is to watch and experience living, to enjoy living every moment of it, and to live in environments where you feel calm, quiet, slow, elegant, peaceful, and also sophisticated. Exhale. Inhale. Just to be, just be you. Whether you are naked or you are have a golden robe on you, that doesn't make any difference. The idea, the purpose of life is that you are grateful, great and full, that you are alive and you enjoy it. Exhale. Widen, Satanam, please bow your head to your heart in reverence to the practice, to the teachings, to yourself, to the land that we are on. My guru, Satanam, thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> 